What is up everybody? I recently added support for PlayStation 4 controllers and I just want to show you guys how to get those set up. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the toolkit and then go down to exit to windows. Use this option to and before we get started, just uh, a quick note. These, this is going to be for wired controllers. So um, you're, you're going to want to just connect your USB cable to the to the PS4 controller and then to the PC. I am not supporting them wirelessly because it's just too glitchy and it causes too many headaches. So just believe me, you don't want to deal with PS4 controllers on a PC wireless. It's just too many problems. Um, so wired, they're pretty pretty stable, so no no issues there. If you do want wireless PS, uh, you know PlayStation style controllers. I would recommend you guys go and pick yourselves up some GameSir G3S controllers like this one here. They're they're very nice. They have the same layout as a PlayStation controller and they work. Uh, as far as the, the computer is concerned, it sees them as uh, just a 360 controller. So um, they're, they're nice. So if you want to do wireless, go ahead and, and pick those up. But for those of you that want to use the PS4 controllers, what you want to do is Go ahead and plug your first controller into the PC to the USB port. And then on the bottom right here, you're going to see that it will say installing device driver software. And then after a few seconds, it'll say your device is ready to use. Once it says that, if you have a second controller you want to plug in, go ahead and do that. And the same thing will happen, installing device. And then it'll say your device is ready to use. After that is complete, you want to go back and start up Hyperspin again. So double click Hyperspin on the desktop. I'm just going to skip the intro here. Okay, then go ahead and go up to the toolkit. I'm using my keyboard with the up and down arrows and then enter to make the selection. And you want to go up to use PS4 controller and you want to press enter there. Now, when you do that, you're not really going to see much happen. You might see a quick flash pop up on the screen. But after a few seconds, your controllers are going to change color. The LEDs on the back are going to change color. Your player one is going to be blue and your player two is going to be green. Once that happens, you're ready to go. You can just go ahead. As you can see right now, I'm using the controllers and they will act exactly like a PS. Uh, I'm sorry, an Xbox controller. So if you look at the mappings here, everything's going to be exactly the same. Your exit and select there are going to be replaced by the share and option buttons on the PS4 controller. So share is the equivalent of exit and options is the equivalent of select. And uh, that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys on the next one.